fitting in an infinity lock, first of all, the gasket, you need to take off the backing tape and stick the gasket to the lock. When you fit in the lock, you've got the lock itself, a face plate, and you've got the, the external plate. Before you actually fit the lock, if you look at the bottom, there's a hole. That's the hole that, that, that you use for the screw, for the cylinder. That's always on the bottom. So, if depending on the hand and the door, you unloosen this and turn it round for the different handings, but that hole is always on the bottom. Stick, one, stick the first one through the holes. The holes are 60mm, 62mm, 45mm diameter. Line this up so that it's more or less lined up. Then the top hole at the front or at the back of the lock and the bottom hole are the two holes that you use. Uh, locating, locating these is sometimes a little, a little bit difficult. Once you've got them located, you then should be able to just loosely fasten the lock to the door. Once it's in the loose position, you can see there's a bit of movement in the holes. You can then line this through with the front of the door. And once you're satisfied that it's level and it's square with the front, you can then tighten the two screws up. This, these two black screws actually physically tighten the glass door lock to the door itself. You're not relying on the two bolts that go through these holes where when you put your when you put your, your lever handles on, your bolt through lever handles. So we've now tightened that to the to the door, making sure that it's level and that it's square. On this one I haven't obviously checked the level because it's just a de demonstration. <coughs> the next the next part we like to do is we like to put the put the the cylinder in. To do this, you notice on all cylinders there's a little grub screw which keeps the, the, the cylinder on. You can actually fasten this through through the lock first, get it into position. So that the lock throws. Sorry about this. So the lock throws. We then put the, the bolt that comes with it inside the bag that comes with the cylinder. There's a there's a. Uh, a bolt this is then located underneath to make it easier we'll just loosen this out so you can see where I'm tightening it up using the correct arm key then tighten tighten this in position then clamp it back up again <coughs> and 
then take off the grub screw out of the out of here put that to one side and then get the face the cover plate by depressing the front this will slide straight over put the two screws in which holds the, the cover on before you do this you may wish, wish to tighten this the cylinder up you do that by tightening it underneath if you haven't already done so If you notice on on here the grub screw there's a hole they line up with each other you then take your allen, your allen key tighten this back on now Lock should throw. So that's the lock in, in position. We now want the cover on the other side. This is a little stud at the front of the front of the cover plate, and literally, you just push that on and over the front of the the cylinder at the same time. So that's the cylinder and everything in place. Now let's have a look at the pair of levers. Levers we're going to use is just standard safety levers. Comes with a fixing kit. A pair of levers and a pair of covers. It's important to note when you're putting these on. The, the, there's a drilled hole in the bottom right this corresponds with your grub screw and basically your spindle as you push it through there you want it about four mil or five mil or so through the hole taking the three mil allen key with them what we'll do is we'll just nip this in in position just to stop from moving about that's all you need is a tiny little bit of pressure put this through the hole The other one, put on the other side, and inside the fixing kit, you should have two blind bolts. The blind bolts are standard, they come for, for timber doors up to 50, 50 mil. And what you actually need to do is you need to take a pair of pliers and count two lots of threads down and then nip that off. The correct way of doing these is you put the blind nut through one side and you put your bolt through the your screw through the other, locate them, on the other one which I've, I've already cut this goes in the opposite way around, you put the blind bolt Sorry. You put the blind bolt in from the front or from the back and put your bolt in the other side. When you tighten these up, you should be able to just nip them up with an ordinary screwdriver. Uh, it's not advisable to use a, sc a screw gun because you can't feel the, the torque that you're putting on them and basically all you need is enough pressure on these so that when you move the handles that these don't move that's the handles fitted 
notice that there's another quarter turn at least on there and there's at least another turn on that side you then fit your roses that's it safe safe for argument's sake the customer wishes to change the levers to a, another set of style of levers all you should need to do is loosen these off again Take the handles off. Remove the, the, the bolts. And here we have another set of lever handles, which have got 10 mil sprung roses on. Take the covers off the, off the handles. So you can get this this the rows back the cover screw the, screw that in two or three turns so it's countersunk you should then be able to push these covers back out of the way unscrew this otherwise you won't get unscrew it again slightly so it's clear inside and do exactly the same on the other one take the spindle out screw it in so you can move the cup the rows back once you've got the rows back you can then unscrew the the grub screw notice it's got a groove inside there locate the groove with the same side of the handle round about midway down the groove you want to be and then just just nip this in, uh, get a hold of the rows and find out which way it's, it's operating. This one's operating this way. So this is the out, the, the inside handle. Push this in, take the other handle, make sure it's operating in the right direction. Before you actually tighten these grub screws on the inside, yeah, you now want to locate these. Again, this sometimes is a little difficult, you might want to move it out slightly just to get it in. Do the same at the other side. Once you've got them in place, you should then be able to put your blind bolts, your, sorry your blind nut in. Take your screwdriver. Tighten into place. Do the same on the other side. Again, just enough torque, tightness, the thing is those. Push the covers on. You won't be able to push the cover on this side because you need to tighten, you need to tighten the, the the Allen key. Just take it in so it's countersunk, and just nip it slightly. Push the cover on, and that's it fitted. It's easy as that. So there you see in demonstration two of our standard sets of levers, the straight ones and the return safety levers which incidentally each one has a spring in each one, handle and also there's a spring inside the lock finished <laughs>